Welcome to our informative video on the dismantling process of a centrifugal pump used onboard ships for seawater and freshwater systems. Let's familiarize ourselves with several components of centrifugal pump. Firstly, we have the casing, which encloses the pump's internal components. Next, there's the impeller responsible for generating the pumping action. This is the impeller wear rings, which help maintain the impeller's efficiency and prevent leakage. This is the shaft that connects the impeller to the motor and transmits power. This is the mechanical seal that ensures a watertight connection between the pump and motor. This is the bearing which support the rotating shaft, providing stability and reducing friction. This is the coupling which connect the shaft to the motor, transferring power efficiently. We also have the carbon bush at the bottom which helps guide the shaft. Finally, the electric motor fitted on the top is the prime mover. Now let's dive into the dismantling process. Start by removing the carbon bush located at the bottom of the pump and then proceed to remove the securing bolts of the stationary seal housing cover on the top of the pump. Once the cover is free, remove the securing nuts of the outer casing and carefully detach the casing from the pump. Next, remove the coupling bolts and nuts to separate the coupling from the shaft. Moving on, remove the securing bolts of the top cover of the bearing housing. Once the cover is removed, release the securing nuts of the bearing housing and take out the outer bearing housing. At this point, you can safely remove the entire rotor assembly from the pump and transfer it to a working platform for further dismantling. First, begin by removing the wear rings situated on both sides of the impeller. Proceed to remove the securing bolt of the bottom shaft sleeve and carefully take out the sleeve. With the sleeve out of the way, you can now pull the impeller away from the shaft. Remove the securing bolt of the coupling and pull it out, then remove the coupling key from the shaft. Remove the bearing housing top cover and extract the bearing from the pump using the bearing puller. Remove the stationary seal housing. Now carefully remove the rotary seal from its position. Next, remove the spring of the mechanical seal, followed by the spring retainer. Lastly, remove the impeller key, which secures the impeller to the shaft. Now you have successfully dismantled the centrifugal pump. To reassemble the pump, simply follow the reverse order of the dismantling process. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. Thank you for watching.